Put your hands together for the very funny Maddie Smith! Oh, hi! Hi! How you guys doing? Good? Nice? Hot couples? Third day? Fuck yeah, dude! Let's go! Let's go! You got the shorts on? Yeah! What do you do? What's your job? Law enforcement? Are you a cop? Why are you being so vague? What's going on? <laughs> Why, because you're a pig? <laughs> yeah, you are. Where do you live, Queens? Long oh, you live in Long Island? Yeah, that's a fuck, that's the straightest dude in the room, yeah. Look at him, he's so straight, he won't even look at his own dick. I love it. He's like, ew, dude, I'm not gay. I love you, I'm obsessed. What do you do for a living? Oh, you're an architect. Whoa, whoa. Are you guys a family? No? What's going on? Oh, that's your son? Oh, Shane, a mama's boy. Yeah. He's coming through in the polo. Oh, dressed up for mommy. Goo goo gaga. Sorry, I have a kink. Okay. Um, uh, that's cool. Well, how old are you? Are you uh, 20? You're 22, young guy. Fuck me. <laughs> Shit, what's gonna fuck? Life looks so good. <laughs> I'm 30, it sucks, all right? Just know, just know. What do you do? What's your job? Are you out of college? I'm an investment banking analyst. Oh, investment banking. Nice. <laughs> evil man. Uh, he's an evil man. Uh, it's okay, I used to work in finance. I had to leave for moral reasons. I got fired, so it was a whole thing. <laughs> But I respect you, that's awesome. Investment banking, do you live in the city? No, I do. Yes. Now you, you just moved? Yeah, like today. Today? Oh no, and I'm out here like, you're a loser. <laughs> Only in New York, baby. Only in New York, welcome. That's so exciting. You get the experience, you get a whore screaming in your face. I'm about to talk about my pussy and you're next to your mom, that's awesome. That's where you came from. <laughs> That's very exciting. That's very exciting. This guy is gonna be so rich. My God, I am. Um, I'm like, should I lower my age range? I don't know. I don't have a lot of money because I work at a nonprofit, so um, it's rough. And I'm not smart like him. I went to liberal arts school, so Woo! no, uh, no. It's such a scam. It's the fire fest of academia. Dude, you get to liberal arts school, the admins are like, you're gonna make 100K. You're like a year, they're like over your life. And uh, now I have $50,000 of debt. And I know it sounds like a lot, but it used to be 40,000. So uh, yeah, we fucking growing, bitch, yeah. Yeah, I think about my dad a lot too. I think about, oh dude, it consumes my brain. I went on a, a date with this guy. He was like, do you have any interests? I was like, so many. I have 12% on a federal loan and 10% um, on a private. That was for you. Yeah, a little, little finance show. You wanna fuck? Ew, I hate myself. My God, what is going on? What is going on? I'll see you on Hinge, bitch. <laughs> I just got out of a relationship in October and I'm trying to be a slut. Yeah. I'm trying to be a slut. Thank you. Thank you. The man in the man in the mask is clapping. As if you can talk, bitch. It's over. Okay? Take that shit off. You're a pussy. My god. My god. He's literally <laughs> he has a medical condition. I'm like, "You fucking cock." My God. Oh, you got a mask on too? Oh shit, you guys go home and you just fuck with your mask on and you're like, with mask on, no condom? Yeah. That's the vibe. You fucking sick fucks. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I wear a mask during sex because he asked me to, but um, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to be a slut and uh, it's hard to be a slut, isn't it? It's really humiliating. Because your whole life people are like, guys will take anything. And then when they don't take it, you're like, um, uh, what do I got that Discover card pussy? What the hell is going on here? So I was in a relationship until October and my relationship was so bad. We never had sex. My IUD was sitting in there like an unpaid intern. It was really bad. And the only time we had sex, we role played. You guys are like role playing, right? The cops like, yeah, I'm gonna fucking uh, 
I'm gonna put you in jail, bitch. And then she's like, yeah, I'm gonna build you a house. I don't know. Um, uh, I don't know, I'm high. But uh, role playing's cool. When I was with my boyfriend, I was like, I'm pretending I can feel your dick. And uh, yeah, he was white. And uh, he was pretending I was awake. So it was a whole thing, but. <laughs> But you have to role play a few times. And I remember one time my boyfriend and I tried role playing and ended up not working out because we both wanted to be the pizza guy. <laughs> so awkward. I showed up at his door so sexy. I was like, hello, pizza time. And then from behind me, I heard footsteps turn around. He's right there. He's like, that's right. <laughs> it's pizza time. And I was like, hey, what are you doing? I'm supposed to be delivering to you. Uh, you're supposed to be inside. Uh, he was like, the question is, what are you doing? Because I didn't see you on the schedule today. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we're both naked in the hallway. I'm like, can you stop doing this? He's like, okay, fine. Are we going to have sex or not? I'm like, oh, now it's an HR issue, isn't it? So <laughs> he doesn't want to laugh. Don't fucking avoid eye contact with me, bitch. Enjoy it. What are you, Gen Z? You look young. How old are you? Oh, you're young. That's why. You're like, no, I respect women. All right. Just wait. Just fucking wait till one of them ghosts you and then you go full incel and then you'll come crawling to me and I'll say, hey, motherfucker, I'll suck your cock and uh, what the hell is going on here? You don't want a blowjob from me, though. Once I turned 30, I started giving worse head just to make it end earlier. I'm so... I'm so tired. I go in molars first. I'm like, you said teeth, right? Uh, He's like, I love when you spit on it. I'm like, you're bleeding. But, uh, hell yeah. Yeah, the cop is hard. Yeah, that's how you know. I'm actually really good at giving head because I was raised in the 90s. We were raised on the most phallic foods. Ring pops, push pops, blow pops, baby bottle pops. I can suck that dick. I'll suck the baby out of it. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? We're at the pool in 1997. We're like, Mom, look, a ring pop. She's like, yes, go queen. <laughs> Your dad's like, what the fuck? My God. I'm on every dating app. I'm on Tinder, Bumble, Grubhub. And... Um, trying to put myself out there. I've been with a lot of guys. One time I was talking to my ex. I was trying to make him feel special. I was like, there were a lot before you. He was like, do I need to get tested? I was like, yeah. And uh, he got freaked out. He was like, how many guys have you been with? I was like, four. He was like, not bad. I was like, T7. So um, it's been a slog. It's been a slog. It sucks. Also, right now, a lot of the people who swipe right on me are under 5'5". Five five. And uh, listen, I don't mind short guys. 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 You have to say that in case there's a short guy with a gun here because uh, those motherfuckers are fucking filled with uh, something. It's not height, but uh, they'll sneak up on you and hit you in the Achilles tendon. You're like, what was that? Uh, Lord Farquaad, yo. I like short guys. They can eat you out while standing up. And like, how sick is that? It's like a circus trick. Yeah. You can tell who's short by who's not laughing. It's awesome. Uh, my problem with short guys is they try to trick you into thinking they're not short, so they get to the bar before you. They put their, they put their big arms on the table, and they're like, yeah, I look like that guy. And you see his face, and you're like, oh my God, he's handsome. But you don't look down to see that his feet are dangling. And... Uh, then when you go to leave, he hops off the chair and you're like, yo, you didn't tell me you were a Polly Pocket. Okay, let's go home. I'm going to peg the shit out of you. But uh, so you're 21. Do you go to college? Yeah. Okay. Are you 21? No, you're twins. Oh my God. Do you feel each other? Like, do you ever feel stuff he does? Like if he's like in a boat job or you're like, whoa, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to make you guys laugh. You know what? I think I should just be, I'm trying to hit with, I'm like trying to get with two 21 year olds right now. I'm like, hey, threesome. You don't want a threesome with me. I'll tell you that much. I had pasta today. Do you want me to throw up on your dick? Cause I will. You ever throw up on a dick and suck it back up? Cause you're a people pleaser. I have show. Okay. Okay. Again, he's like, I love when you spit on it. I'm like, it's bile. But um, uh, I really wish I was gay. Sometimes I think I'm gay. 
like I see a photo of Jessica Alba, I'm like, I'm a lesbian. Then I see Ellen, I'm like, never mind. So uh, recently I hooked up with a girl to see if I was gay and I saw, not only am I not gay, I'm also a homophobe. <laughs> I was licking her clam, I said, I'm full. <laughs> Check, please. Uh, I turned into an evangelical Republican. I said, this is not in the Bible. <laughs> no, I, this is not how God intended. It's Adam and Eve, not Maddie and Caitlin. But uh, <laughs> I made her come because I'm a gentleman. <laughs> yeah. I'm also a gentleman and that after she finished, I was like, your Uber's here. And uh, it's a pool, so. <laughs> I drink, I drink, I drink so much. I'm a blackout drunk, it's bad. I disappear mentally for like 12 hours at a time. I've blacked out like 300 times in my life. I have brain damage, this is a make-a-wish. I uh, literally, uh, I really appreciate you guys being here. Cause I'm from Buffalo, did I already tell you guys that? I'm from Buffalo. Yeah, if you don't, you guys know Buffalo? If you don't know Buffalo, it's in Central Europe. And uh, it's a weird, it's hard being from a place like Buffalo because I was hot there. I was hot in Buffalo. Like in Buffalo, I was a 10. In New York, I'm homeless. So uh, that's pretty annoying. And when you're from Buffalo, you just drink a lot. Like I'm someone who will drink and drink and drive. But uh, now it's, <laughs> I feel like I'm too abrasive for you guys. Like at first it was like, hee hot. And now you're like, yo, you got trauma. And I'm like, yeah. It's getting hard to do that now. I'm like 30, I drink once a month, go to a party, all it takes is a sip of wine for me to be like, who should I fuck here? <laughs> and my mom's like, it's a family party. So uh, that's annoying. I hooked up with a guy last week who got whiskey dick. You guys know what 21 year old, you know what whiskey dick is? Yeah. Oh, shut up, you go to University of Arizona. Yes, you do. Uh, yeah, you do. Whiskey dick is cool. I used to see it a lot in college, so now when I see it, I Instagram it. I'm like, oh shit, throwback Thursday. And if you don't know what whiskey dick is, it's when a dude sits on the edge of your bed and yells, this never happens. And then he's like, I can fix this. If I'm inside of you, I can get hard. And I'm like, I don't understand your logic, but come on in. And... Uh, then it's like squeezing Play-Doh into a thimble. And uh, here we are. Look at all the girls laughing. The guys are like, the guys are like, don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh. No, no, no. Is there anything worse than a condom on a soft dick? Woo wee! Talk about an admission of defeat, am I right? You're like, this is not Mulan, because I can't make a man out of you. And uh, then he's just I'm triggering myself and uh, then he like tries to stuff it in and it's like folding onto itself as it goes in it's going it's literally like the letter P as it goes into you and like cinnaboning itself and uh, you're just lying there like should I go to grad school but uh, <laughs> oh, I used to be mad at whiskey dick now I'm like oh I'm off the hook and uh, <laughs> I used to be offended. I used to be like, oh my God, he doesn't like my body. That's why he can't get hard. No, guys will fuck a corpse and be like, she listens. <laughs> she likes Weezer. It's physical. They drink too much and they can't get hard. I empathize because there's a female version of whiskey dick and that's when women really want to have sex but we can't get aroused because men talk. So uh, it's rough, isn't it? That was a very women-oriented laugh and I love it because every guy in here is like, don't laugh or she'll call on you. All right, well, you know what? We got a cop, we got a 21-year-old and we got a son. So what else could you want for that? And a guy in a mask. Wow, oh my God. What am I, the bachelorette? <laughs> oh shit. Is that your mom? Nice. Oh, shit. Now I'm just Jazane Maxwell. I'm like, okay. That was inappropriate. I apologize. I'm sorry. Oh, mom's not laughing. All right. Well, did I tell you guys I would have sex with someone if he paid off my student loans? Did I tell you that? I should wrap it up because I know there's a couple rich guys here. So I uh, want to get the word out. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm manifesting it. Um, usually I'm very in, I'm indifferent about paying off my debt because once you have $50,000 of debt, the more debt you take on, the less it matters. I feel bad for people with no debt because to them, $1,000 is a lot of money. But to me, it's like, put it on the tab. You know what I mean? <laughs> Credit cards are gift cards. So uh, that's that. 
But I would have sex with a guy if he paid off my student loans. Like, I would never sleep my way to the top, but I would for sure sleep my way to breaking even. <laughs> Doesn't that sound great? Come on, my tits, just get me in the black, baby. <laughs> He's like, I'll just pay it. No. <laughs> Oh my god. Are you guys a couple? Oh, what's going on? You're both so pretty. Well, you're handsome. I don't know. Are you not? Oh, it's like a date or something? Oh shit, what number? Oh, first date. <laughs> it's a first date and they chose an activity that involves not talking to each other. That's perfect. Great precedent for the rest of your relationship. Just having other people entertain you while you guys are like, oh, can you pass the Diet Coke? <laughs> First date, what app did you guys meet on an app? I was going to say, what app did you meet? Oh, you didn't meet on an app? Where'd you meet? Um, my college roommate's boyfriend is his brother. Your college roommate's boyfriend is his brother. Oh, we got a little situation going on. Here. <laughs> so if you fuck this up, you're out of the friend group, bitch. Because... Uh, the woman always stays. The woman always stays, and we will slander your name everywhere. We don't care if we were the crazy ones. You will go down as a fucking manipulating asshole. But have fun. Oh my God, that sounds fun. It'd be great, you guys can go on double dates. It's oh, it sounds fun, until you fuck it up. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm being such a feminist today. La, 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 la. Oh man. Okay, so how old are you guys? Are you guys 20 in your 20s? 22. Okay. Oh, you're 22. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Back up. <laughs> Back up. Mom approved. Um, oh, you got the mask off. Put it back on, bitch. You're gonna die. Yeah. You're gonna die. I caught you trying to sippy sip. I caught you. What do you do? What's your job? Software engineer. Software engineer? What about you? I'm going to medical school. Oh, you're going? Oh, so, oh, so, is, does she make you wear the mask? You can tell the truth. No? It was, yeah, it was a... You wear the pants? Yeah, you do. I mean, look at it. I mean, obviously, you wear the pants and the mask, and uh, that's pretty fun. I live in New York City, and I'm trying to find a man. And I can't, because the only piece of advice women are given right now is to be confident. That's all they're saying. Remember in the, in the 90s, everyone was like, you're fat. Now they're like, take initiative. I'm like, I'd rather be fat. What the hell? Every single piece of advice is like, say what you need to say, be honest. So I'm on a first date like, hey, I took out my IUD for you and I love you. And he's like, I'm the waiter. So it's uh, super tricky. 22 year old, you know what an IUD is? <laughs> Not a DUI. Uh, his mom's like, he has five IUDs. No, <laughs> you got dyslexia, but uh, IUD is birth control. And how it works is it sits in your uterus. You pretty much tell the gynecologist how long you want to be a whore for. And it sits in there. And how it works when the guy comes in you, the IUD cuts the heads off the sperms. <laughs> yeah. Actually, in Texas, it shoots them. <laughs> He's like, hey, this pussy ain't big enough for the two of us. <laughs> And I got an IUD just because I was super sick of getting abortions. And uh, <laughs> I was at Planned Parenthood every day. They're like, the usual Maddie? I'm like, suck it out, baby, literally. But uh, <laughs> the vibes are weird. The confidence thing is really hard. One time I went with this guy, I tried to be super confident, and I asked him why he liked me, which was a mistake. Because <laughs> men are like baseline autistic. And uh, if you ask a guy why he likes you, he'll be like, you have big titties. Wait, uh, I like what's on the inside. If your vagina, fuck. <laughs> So I asked this guy why he liked me, and he goes, Maddie, I like you so much, because you're just like one of the guys. I was like, I put on chapstick for you. He called me one of the guys, which was weird, because later during sex, he got mad when I came first and then fell asleep. 
He was so mad. He was like, you're not going to blow me? I was like, Dave, you know that'd be gay, right? Because <laughs> I'm a dude. Now get out of here, you homo. <laughs> you guys have been awesome. Please give it up your host, and thank you for being here.